Increasing your click-through rate is one of the most important things you can do for your e-commerce brand. And after generating over $10 million, I've discovered a very easy trick that you can start using today to double your click-through rates with Google Ads. And in this video, I'm going to reveal how you can use it to lower the amount you're spending per link click and as a result get the same number of people onto your website to become more profitable this is exactly the trick i used to scale this brand right here over 56 percent in just the last 30 days alone or this e-commerce brand right here where i was able to scale it from 126 thousand dollars a month all the way up to three hundred seven thousand dollars a month or maybe this brand right here where we were able to keep it very steady and even slightly increase it from seventy thousand a month all the way up to $96,000 a month. And this trick, by the way, I'm referring to is known as focusing on the value proposition of your product. In general, value proposition is basically the perceived value of your product. But going back to the example, so the other day I wanted to sell some TV wall mount stands on my own e-commerce brand. And just like with any Google Ads campaign, before I actually run the campaign itself, I like to do a quick search for that given product. This quick search led me to a large list of very scary looking, very mean looking competitors who seem to be basically lighting their cash on fire trying to sell their TV wall mounts. This kind of got me thinking, what is a better approach of selling within such a competitive product category right here? Obviously, there are several things that I could have done, such as bid the highest amount or have the highest budget. The second thing I would have done is probably try to be the cheapest and as a result, hurt my own profit margins, hurt my own e-commerce brand. Or the third option, which I could have taken, which by the way, is the option that I took, increase my click-through rate by improving my value proposition of my product. I decided to use this technique and just focus on that to boost up my product naturally. The value proposition or the perceived value of the product that you sell is determined by what the customer sees first when they do a given search for your keyword. So the value proposition of Wayfair.com is just this ad in general, basically what I'm seeing here right on my screen. The value proposition from Best Buy here is this ad as a whole. So this is what your perceived value is when it comes to Google Ads. One of the easiest ways to improve your click-through rates is by directly dealing with that perceived value and improving it as a result. So there were several things I decided to do to really improve my chances. The first thing I did is I started off with the product image itself. I noticed that across the board, a lot of these product images were a mixture of white background images as well as these so-called lifestyle images. I did definitely see a heavy reliance on these lifestyle images. In this case, because there was a little bit of an equal distribution between lifestyle and white background images, what I could do is I could go either direction, but just having a different image that pops out, my value proposition would immediately go up a notch compared to my competitor. I basically started studying what kind of images these people with lifestyle images versus those with white background designs actually have going on within the image itself. What I noticed is almost all of these lifestyle images, but they had this product far away from the camera itself or from the main angles. As a result, none of these products was directly visible. On the other side, all of these white background images simply only had the product itself barely any of these had the main tv on top of it what i decided to do in this case i decided to use an image of the product where the product itself is much more visible and slanted at an angle because a lot of these products right here they were either directly facing the camera or had a very small slant but because they was in the distance they was very hard to see in fact I'm gonna reveal that product. It is this one right here. As you can see, this specific image itself, it's sort of slanted and has the TV facing away from the main frame. Whereas with these other competitors, the TV was directly facing our frame. By the way, I'm still selling this product to this day. And so far this month, we have spent roughly $55, but in terms of the conversion value, you can see this month I'm selling this product at a 6.19x ROAS. And that's because I decided to go with an image which I knew would help it stand out of the crowd. This is how I immediately improved my overall value proposition of that product. Then came the product title itself. Now, I want you to compare these two titles right here. Just title number one, which is 
TV wall mount stand, exactly what my keyword, which I searched up here is, or I want you to compare this to title number two, which is heavy duty, full motion, save 64 inch TV wall mount stand. I want you to personally ask yourself, which product would you go with if you were looking for a, such a product to purchase? And in most cases, you would choose the second one with the longer product title. Not because it is more longer, but it has more filler keywords which make the perceived value go up. Filler keywords such as heavy duty or full motion or safe. These are all filler keywords. They don't really have any type of search engine optimization effects on the algorithm itself. However, they have a much safer impact on the person reading that product title as a result if somebody were just selling a tv wall mount well now even though it's the same product a customer is going to be more likely to purchase your product versus your competitors with that boring title i knew exactly this and that's why i decided to make my product title exactly what i just told you that did the trick because again my conversion rates and my overall ROAS went through the roof this kind of brought me to the next thing which was the pricing itself keep in mind without competitive pricing you're just not going to be able to sell that product period in this case what i decided to do is i decided to sell that product for 80 dollars. and the reason why i came up with that is i saw a lot of similar stands going for about 150 dollars, and on the lower end 30 dollars, maybe 70 dollars, so on and so forth i decided to be right smack in the middle i decided to put my pricing as 80 dollars, and then to put on top of that i added a bunch of reviews for that product because my e-commerce brand is already approved for the google shopping reviews programs i also went into the back end with the google merchant center and added promo code now, during that time and even now as well, I only see one store running a promo code of 8% off. And by the way, what I noticed working the best is some kind of random odd number. So instead of just doing 5%, 10%, 20%, which is the very basic norm, I decided to go maybe 7% or maybe 9% off. This is just to kind of throw a customer off his or her tracks and make them really think twice about our offer. Yeah, I mean, right now it's running at a CTR of 0.55%, but because this product type is so competitive, Competitive, CTR was actually at 0.10 to 0.20% before. So I was in that sense able to double it. As you can see, even though it's 0.55%, I'm at a 6x ROAS. I barely spent $55 and made back $344 just this month for this product alone. I know that's not a lot for this month, but there's a lot of other products that are similar products, which I'm scaling at the moment. That is pretty much how you increase your CTRs. It's by basically following the value proposition principle and focusing on improving your value proposition and taking it to the next level. But if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen what i want you to do next is i want you to watch this video right here on my newest google shopping ad strategy for 2023 it follows this value proposition principle and tells you how to scale your shopping campaigns to the next level